Nako, naririnig nyo ba? Ang tinig na yon, ang tawag dyan, vocalization. Vocalization palang pang concert na. O eto na, meet and greet tayo sa isang tunay na reyna. Nakakilala na ba kayo ng tunay na reyna na nagmumumog? <laughs> Habang, habang nagpa-practice. Napanauli mo. Oh, ganun pala yun. Na, ganun yes. pala ang vocalization. Parang, grrr, parang bago ka mag-ano. Yes, yes. Ganun talaga. Hello. Ay, naku, thank you. Finally, Napakahirap no? pong ma-imbita ni Miss Pops Fernandez. She's always busy. At parating wala sa bansa dahil Ina, in demand oh. masyado. ba diba? Teternohan niya ng isang tell-all. Well, not all. Alam mo naman si Pops, masyadong privado. Pero tell most of it dito sa ating programa dahil makikita natin na tulad nating lahat. O, di ba, aminin? Pero happy ending pa rin. At yan ang pagkukwe... Uy, wala nang urungan. Baka bigla kang hindi magpakita mamaya. Oo nga, bigla. And parang na-pressure ako doon sa sinabi mo. <laughs> parang ayaw na niyang ituloy parang, yung interview. Nag-iisip-isip ako ngayon. <laughs> Oo, hindi. Hindi na siya makakawala. Kinandado na namin ang gate. Okay? So, abangan ninyo itong ating, pati ako, mag, siguradong magugulat sa aming na-research tungkol sa buhay ni Concert Queen Pops Fernandez only here on Karina Interviews! Concert Queen Pops Fernandez is in the house. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Finally, finally. Ito na yun. Ito na. Tamang-tamang timing to. Tamang -tama. This is meant to be. Ayan. Correct. Ilang buwan po ito in the making. <laughs> Pero tamang-tama because Pops Fernandez is celebrating her 40th anniversary in show business. Another Yay! round of applause! Nakaka-relate ako ng konti. Nauna ka lang sa akin ng mga ano, Talaga? limang taon. Yeah. I really? Oo, kasi child newscaster ako. Oh, okay. Two years old pa lang ako. Ay, nasa abs -CBN. Ako nga, fetus pa lang eh. Kumakanta na daw ako. <laughs> oh siguro. Kaya umabot ka ng 40 plus, diba? Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Wow. Pero, so many ups and downs. And sa tulad mong a real star, the way a star was supposed to be during those days, eh, pati yung buhay mo talagang nalaman ng tao. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't expecting expecting it to be like that, mm -hmm. syempre. Di ba? When you're so young, you're just so hopeful and you feel na everything is just wonderful and glamorous. Oh, di ba? Pag, pag nanonood ka, yun pala, ang dami palang mga mga hindi natin inaasahang heartaches and learnings along the right. way, diba? That is so public. Mm -hmm. Oo, pero nag, nag, nakakagulat din kasi sa henerasyon ngayon, lalo na yung mga nanonood sa atin on YouTube or on Facebook, um, hindi na nila maalala yung part na yon. Yes. They're not knowledgeable of the things that happened before. They were too young. Tama, tama. O masyado silang bata. O dahil mm -hmm. sa dami ng pangyayari, nabaon na sa limot yung mga bagay na actually maganda rin alalahanin dahil yun ang bumubuo sa kung sino si Pops Fernandez today. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, simulan natin nung siya'y fetus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nagkakilala ang kanyang nanay at tatay na parehong star nung mga panahon na yun. Yeah. Eddie Fernandez was an action star. Yes. He's ano known as uh, oh. Lagalag. Ayun, Lagalag. Lagalag. Hindi, pa, hindi ako nagkaroon ng chance mapanood any of his films. Same with my mom. Kasi nung araw, di ba, once they air it, it's rare that you get to see it again, right? But I know and everybody tells me, lalong-lalo na syempre yung mga fans ni Papa, na yun na nga, uh, favorite daw nila si Papa, si Lagalag. At nung nag-uumpisa ako sa showbiz, ang tawag nila talaga sa akin, yung anak yan ni Lagalag. So, nakaka-proud <laughs> naman. So, okay, so they were stars. Your mother, My mother, I think, back then, was just starting. Mm -hmm. 
So, uh, ang alam kong story is, of course, they fell in love. Her career was actually very short lang kasi nga, uh, na-in love siya. Ayan. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ayun. Alright. Tapos, nagka-pops na. Kung baga, parang mother, father, daughter, you're alone with your parents? Team. Meron ka pang sibling with them? Oh, yeah. Uh, my brother, the one after me, he yes. passed away already. His name's oh. Edwin. Ano nangyari sa brother mo? He was diabetic. And then he had to go through dialysis, oh. and uh, he had a slight um, accident. Nalaglag siya sa kama, tapos na fracture yung kanyang neck. So tumuloy tuloy. Uh, parang yeah, he he got weaker, mm -mm. and um, but he was able to survive it for a while. For a while. Mm -hmm. So at least there was time. Yes, there was time for me to spend with him. Because Corina, tandaan mo, when I was a kid, I was so busy na. In, um, we were all, we all played together. Tapos nung nag, nagtrabaho na ako, sobra na akong na-busy. So they rarely see me. They'd only see me siguro, not even in the morning, tulog ako during the day eh. Mm -hmm. Sa gabi naman, pag uwi ko, tulog na sila. Hanggang sa, of course, nag-asawa na rin ako, nagka-family ako. So that was my, um, we, we were given a chance to be together. Oh nice, at least, mm -hmm. di ba? Wow, I lost a brother also, so I know that kind of pain never goes away. Tapos during the latter part, I was uh, I was the one who took care of him. Is the sadness because there wasn't time enough with him throughout his life? Um, yeah, maybe, or there was a lot of regret because nga, I missed out on so much. And then parang you want to do more. Up to a point na you can't do anymore. Uh -oh. But I think, ano naman, we were very happy. Uh, gusto ko naman sabihin na happy naman siya during his last years. How old was he? Almost 50, yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, so. things happen to all of us. Pero siyempre, your pain is different from everybody else's. Oh, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hindi ako ba? parati kasi pag family, anak, uh, naiiyak talaga ako. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Nakita naman ng mundo na Yung buhay mo, marami din namang kasiya, kaligayahan. Oo naman, oo naman. Marami din namang kaligayahan, uh -huh. lalo na itong mga panahon na ito. <laughs> so, maraming kaligayahan, pero ayun na nga, in the beginning, marami din mga kalungkutan, ano. So, ito nang pinakahuli yung pagkamatay ni Edwin. Mm. And he will forever be loved and remembered, of course. Pero, nauna na yung, yung trauma din dito sa nangyari sa father mo. Anong nauna? Yung pasok mo sa showbiz o yung nangyari sa dad mo? Di ba nakulong si Papa? Before, before you entered showbiz? I was only three years old. Ano ba nangyari doon? Yung sa'yo, yung alam mo? Nako, I, I know very little. But syempre, if you ask me, I know that um, wala naman. Parang victim lang siya. Oh. In, a, in a situation na wala, rin, wala na rin siyang magawa. Okay. That's all I know. So, but he, uh, he kind of sacrificed and suffered for 12 years. And then on the 12th year, nakalaya naman siya. Just when we thought, hindi na, nakalaya pa rin siya. Oh, maganda naman na nangyari mm -hmm. yun, ano? Pero mula nung maliit ka, from three years old na nawala siya, bihira lang kayo magkita noon. Siyempre, um, hard, di ba? But my, my mom was nice enough to allow us to visit a birthday, special occasion, sometimes. Mostly birthdays, my, my papa's birthday, uh, my birthday, my brother's birthday, sometimes, but not all the time. Yung mga panahon na yun, hindi mo pa ramdam? Ramdam mo na ba yung absence na? Um, hindi, hindi ko naintindihan. Ah, oh. Diba? It's like, wala lang, it just happened. So, because you don't know any better, uh, you just think that it's, there's nothing to compare, there's no one to compare with, so, I didn't really think anything of it. And dumating sa punto na, ito hindi ko mapaniwalaan ito. Ano yan? Dumating sa punto na humirap din ang pamilya? Humirap din ang pamilya na... Kasi nawala si Papa. Oo. So, syempre, walang income. Oo. Diba? Wala rin si Mama. She wasn't naman working. What was the worst? What was rock bottom for you? It wasn't, it didn't feel like rock bottom then. I guess when something maybe traumatic or tragic happens or something happy happens that those are the things that kids remember you know children remember so at back then hindi i it didn't feel like we had nothing because 
bata pa nga ako, but I would remember, and this is, this is a true story, no? Every time yung mag-uuwi ng sardinas, lata ng sardinas, we would be so thrilled as a kid. Ilang families ang mag-share noon because my mom also took care of her, her uh, siblings. My mom was really the breadwinner also. Wow! Wala you saw your mom work so hard. Yeah, she worked so hard. And back then you didn't realize what it was. So doon mo siguro din nakita yung work ethic mo. Nadaladala mo hanggang ngayon kasi naaalala mo yung yes. hirap ng nanay mo Oo dati. Oo naman. At pinramis ko sa sarili ko as a kid. Kasi nga nakikita ko si mama umiyak. Kaya ako naiiyak kasi naaalala ko yung time na naiiyak lang siya. Oo. Tapos wala siyang mabigay sa amin. I remembered, ayun na naiyak. <laughs> Oo. I remembered a story na, uh, uh, a moment na, hindi ko maalala kung saan yun, ba't nung lalakad kami. Tapos in the window, merong malaking doll. Kita ko yun sa window. Wala lang, as a kid, I was just looking at a doll, na something that I didn't have. And um, my mom said, don't worry, one day, mabibili kita niya. Oo. Oh. Naaalala mo yun? Alala ko yun and I couldn't understand because I didn't have a doll. Yung um, mga ganong bagay pala, Pops, naaalala ng bata, ano? Kasi it was a moment. Oh. And so nakita ko siguro yung hardships ng mom ko. And I told myself, one day, um, when I go to work, I will work so hard that we won't experience this. So, nakaranas din ng hirap. Hindi namin ma-imagine, pero Correct. nangyari pala kay Pops yun. <laughs> Oo nga. Diba? It's nangyari one side pala. na we never really discuss. But right. then, after that, my mom was able to put me to a very good school. And I, I, I think it helped me a lot also with confidence. IS was a school that gave me a lot of um, confidence. And everybody, I've learned how to be independent because you know, everybody's independent. They speak their mind. They're not afraid to say what they want to say. Mm -hmm. Parang nabukas ang mundo mo dahil napunta ka sa isang international school. Mm -hmm. So parang parang lumawak, no? Lumawak, lumawak ang pananaw. At hindi na ako kasing afraid, di ba? Afraid of who I am, mm -mm. my life, you know. So, dito na rin ba nabuo sa pag-discovery mo ng uh, confidence sa sarili mo, yung marunong ka palang kumanta? Of course, siya po ay mula sa showbiz family. At um, kamag-anak mo rin ng mga soto. Right? Uh, very musical family. Very, very good friends of my mom. Ah, uh, okay. Best friend ni mama, si Ninang Helen. Every uh, Sunday when I was a kid, uh, Ang aming uh, Sunday is spent in Ninang Helen's house. Ah. So, kailan mo nalaman na marunong ka pala, mahilig ka palang kumanta? <clears throat> Bata pa lang ako, syempre, totoo yung sinasabi nila, once uh, showbiz is in your blood, talagang yun ang gusto mo, di ba? So, in school, maski na sobra akong mahiyain, totoo talaga to. I was so shy. Hindi mo talaga ako mapapasalita. Only when the teacher calls me for the answer. Back then, sumali ako sa choir. Why? Tanong mo ko why. Why? Kasi you get to skip classes during the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yun lang yun. I didn't know back then, but I... I like to sing pala. I was just too shy to really admit it to myself. In school, we would join uh, talent contests and singing contests. My friends would sign up my name, Come on, Shalito, which is my real name. Come on, Shalito, sign up's gonna be fun. We're gonna win. Ako naman, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> and then I think I realized, and my mom also realized, ako makanta pala yung anak ko, ayun. Nung nalaman niya, ayun na, patay. Lahat, sa lahat ng guests niya, oh, pops, come on. <laughs> Pops, ngayon na, kumanta ka. <laughs> diba? Nakakapikon yun. Diba? Oh, oh. So, yeah, that's what we... She was so proud that, yeah, lahat na lang ng bisita namin. Oh, si Pops, yung anak ko, kumakanta. Alika, alika. Kumanta ka. <laughs> Hindi naglaon dahil sa nalaman na nga ng mundo na marunong siyang kumanta. Ang bata mo pa noon, what, 12, 13, right? Yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. oh. mm -hmm. Sign up na agad. Ha? Sign up na agad? Ganun ba kadali? Ang mag... Hindi ganun kadali. Paano yun? Paano I think yun? I was just very blessed because nga, 
na nagdiscover sa akin si Ninong Tito, si Tito Sen, mm-hmm. di ba? And uh, he uh, introduced me right away to Tito Orly Ilakad. Um, mm-hmm. I auditioned. I know, I remembered I did two songs. Was bakit pa ganyan? Ah. So, isa yun sa audition piece ko. Bakit pa ganyan? Ah. So, when uh, Tito Orly heard it, sabi niya, oh, okay naman. Nakakakanta. Oh. So, <laughs> So, sige, 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 try natin. So, I think I was one of the uh, youngest uh, recording artists of um, Octo Arts back then. At 13! Mm-hmm. And your first song was... Dito. 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 This Kaya magsama-sama sa araw ng telebisyon para manood at magsaya kasama ang buong pamilya. Please let's welcome our telegamers na Street Vendors! Sarap! Sabi sa mo ba? Gadahit nga ako eh. Mamaya na lang pagkatapos ng game. Akala ko food trip tayo eh. Kayo na may papasa yung tanong na yan. Kay Ate Ruby. Ate Ruby po, sorry. Ate Ruby ulit. Grabe ka, wala kang awa! And this is the game! Agad, agad! Level up! Kung magagawa ko ng paraan para makuha yung kay Cindy, magiging masaya ang lahat. Meet Vivian. Mark and Queen at Master Negotiator. At ito naman si Andrew, ang smart at assertive CEO ng Evergreen Hotel. At dahil sa mahigpit na request ng client, Hi, ako si Cindy. Nice to meet you. Ako si Vivian. Mapipilitan si Vivian na bumalik sa Evergreen Hotel. Um, saang hotel ba ang gusto niyo? Sa Evergreen Hotel. <laughs> sa totoo lang, Maraming fans si Mr. Sheng, pero ikaw lang yung obsessed sa kanya ng ganito. Sorry, pero mali ka nang iniisip. Mukhang nagkamali tayo, sir. Hindi siya fan girl, Misunderstanding lang. Misunderstanding? Naaalala niyo po ba yung babaeng nakabok sa hotel two years ago? Ano nga ba ang nangyari two years ago? Alex! Ay, kahit bumalik ka pa, hindi mo babago ang isip ko! And finally, nagkita na ang dalawang highly opinionated na CEO. Kailangan kong wedding schedule sa May. Kung ganun, wala na tayong pag-uusapan pa. Hi, Miss Vivian. Um, may ipopropose sana kami. Tatanggapin ba ni Vivian ang proposal ni Andrew? My Bargain Queen, sa lunes na, 8pm sa Net25. Ayun ba naman mas dito? Nakakahiya. Alam mo, naaalala ko talaga yung mga unang labas mo sa TV. Huwag mo naaalalaan. Ay, naaalala ko talaga eh. Naaalala ko Wag, talaga. Huwag, hindi pa ako marunong mag-ayos nun. Baby, baby pa ako. And you know, for young girls like me also at that time, mm-hmm. young, youngish, um, parang, Wow, ang babata pa nila. Nandiyan na sila sa TV. Kung kaya nila, baka kaya ko rin. Ah, so yun na yun. <laughs> <laughs> Napapanood ko talaga. And para sa maraming batang babae, nabuo din ang mga pangarap nila. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly. In fact, yung entry ninyo nila Sharon at nung iba pa, parang paved the way for other Uh, young girls of a different demographic mm-hmm. to enter showbiz. But talagang lalo kang tinangkilik ng marami, lalo ng mga teenagers, nung lumabas ka na sa Penthouse Live. The Knapsacks and Pops Hernandez with a requested song number. Yes. Correct! It was a dance show. I know, I, I late at night, diba? I would also da- uh, watch it. Dance show. And then I think they revived it. They revived it Year, uh, several years after with Mercy and Ares. Siya talaga yes. ang Penthouse Live. Ah. Who I used to idolize. Mm-hmm. She speaks very well. And I sabi, I want, I want to be like that. So, uh, like any other young girl, I would 
I would be in front of the mirror, tatapat ako sa salamin, tapos magpa-practice ako kunyari mag-hosting, hosting. But again, no one knew that, di ba? Oh, oh. It was just me. So, nung <clears throat> invite ako ni Direct Fritz, who is also a huge part of my showbiz life, no? si Fritz Infante, when he invited me to be a, uh, a co-host for that night, so I kept telling him, Nako, Direct, I'm so busy because that's a Sunday night. Now, the excuse ko parat is, well, I can't do it because I have school early morning, so I won't be able to do it. So, siguro na kadalawa tatlong beses ako magsabi kay Derek Fritz. He doesn't take no for an answer. So, ang ginawa niya, kinausap niya yung mom ko. Hi, Dulce, yung anak mo kailangan magyasya sa sa show ko sa Penthouse Live. So, of course, my mom, who never asks me what I want to do, <laughs> said. Of course, kaya oh, oh. kaya yan ng anak ko. Talaga? So I was like, what? why did you say yes? I have school the next morning. Sabi niya, hindi bale, one time lang naman. Which is really true. I was just supposed to guess. I was only, what, 15, 15, 15 16. So, yung mom ko nga, yung mga first episodes ng Penta, sa raffles ako kasi... <laughs> <laughs> Sabi niya, dress your age. So, naka-raffles ako. When we first did that, and natapos na yung show, sabi ko, I don't have to come out here anymore. And then, bumababa si Fritz, and sila Mr. Garcia, sila Freddy Garcia, Mr. Rolly Cruz. Sabi nila, oh, what a great, what great chemistry. We found our Donnie and Marie. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> so, yun na yun. Hanggang sa ah. nag-guest uli ako, tapos nag-guest uli ako, nag-guest, hanggang sa naging regular na talaga ako. Ayun, yun palang story, no, napilitan lang. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay, and then, then nung nag-revamp, kayo na ni Martin. Yes, 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 Yay! it's another Sunday night, and we're back here again. Kami na, na naging official, it, na, naging, uh, naging official hosts ng Penthouse Live, Martin and Pop. Ayon, Martin and Pops. Naku, talagang hindi pwedeng ma-miss yan dati. Yung love story nila ni Martin Nievera. Pero yung una, parang, parang magbarkada lang kayo, di ba? Well, parang we birubiruan really, lang. Yeah, we were really friends. Uh, Siyempre, magkasama kami. Nakikita lang naman talaga kami pag recording and then Sunday. Pero tinangkilig talaga at sinusundan mm. yung mga duet, di ba? Yung so, duets, yes. Yeah, those parang duets. Parang everybody would wait for the duet no at the end of the show during mm-hmm. this time parang naging golden era mo yon so early in your career ha mm-hmm. so early i mean it, hindi ganyan ang lahat hindi ganyan ang lahat ang iba talagang kinakayod late bloomer in your case pag sadlak mo nagtuloy-tuloy na tuloy-tuloy so 16 years old nag folk arts theater concert ka na uh, and that was because of penthouse live also ah. parang um that was uh because I did recordings, I did movies, and I thought nothing of it because for me it was just fun. I was just doing something that I enjoyed doing. This is ever since I was a little kid. This is where I want to be. So I was just enjoying every moment of it. Hanggang sa penthouse live nga became a complete turnaround. I finally found my niche, where I'm good at, where, where my strengths are. And yung concert na yan, parang, kasi nag-concert muna si Martin yata eh, siya muna. Tapos, pag nag-concert si Martin, paano naman si Pops? Kailangan mag-concert ka rin, di ba? So we did my very first show at the Folk Arts Theater. And I was so nervous. Alam mo yun, syempre first time. I was so nervous. Parang hindi ako yata nakatulog at nakakain three months before the show. I was just, <laughs> there was so much pressure. Anong title nga ba? Always Pops. Always Pops. So hanggang sa nag one-on-one kami ni Direct Fritz, uh, before, a uh, few days before the show, sabi niya, Iha, sabi niya, as your director, I just want you to know that you're the only one on stage. I'm not going to be there. And, and this is your chance to prove to people who you are. So, kung lalamya-lamya ka, you want them to know that that's just you? You have to show them what you've got. Mm-mm. This is your moment. Sabi ko, tama naman siya, no? And whatever it is that they see, that's the only thing that they'll remember, right? So that's what started the whole concert, concert uh, era for me. Right. Parang give it your best, always give it your 200%. Along the way, that's when I started learning, uh, learning 
uh, more of my performances, the way I sing, the way I moved, even my spiels. Siyempre lahat yan, di ba, tinuturo lang sa'yo hanggang sa naging, it was just as natural as it can be. So you maintained yung friendship <clears throat> ninyo ni Direct Fritz through the years. I owe a lot to Direct Fritz, oh, I think, oh. and a lot of people as well. Talagang people along the way, ano? parang meron talaga silang purpose sa buhay natin. Yes. And Fritz was one of those for you. Yeah, everybody, I believe that lahat ng nami-meet natin, whether dumaan lang sa atin, di ba, or nag-hello lang, may purpose yan sa buhay Sino natin. Sino nagturo sa'yo sumayaw? Galing mo, ah. But ang dancer kasi sa family is my mom. Oh, tinuruan ka talaga ng mom mo yung sumayaw? Uh, sabi niya, can but. <laughs> Totoo. Dancer kasi si mama. Ah. Si, si papa yung kuma, marunong kumanta. Kaya naman pala sa TikTok, si Kaya, mother, um, hindi oh, mapigilan. Diba? Ayaw, ayaw papigil. Ayaw papigil. No matter oh, how oh. badly I teach her the steps, she makes her own steps. <laughs> <laughs> At sino naman ang gumagawa ng mga costume? Siyempre, napapansin namin yun. Oh mga Catwoman costume oh, mo. Oh, lahat yan, lahat oh, yan. Mga oh. top designers, I think. Uh, I had the privilege of uh, working with them and wearing their ma their art pieces. No, for me, they're art pieces. And Talaga. I, I think they also, because of them, nakilala ako as a fashionista. Wala naman ako kamalay-malay. Sabi ko nga sa'yo, kung si Mama lang, ruffles pa rin <laughs> <laughs> Even in school naman, I've always loved to dress up kasi sa IS walang uniform. Oo, oh, oh, no? So, uh, at ang swerte ko, kasi ang lola ko, mananahi. Ay, ang swerte mo naman. Yes. Yeah, so, pag may bagong, kanyari, may nagustuhan ako, papakita ko, Lola, pag may program, la, I want like this. Oo. Oh, oh. So, bibili na kami ng tela, siya yung magtatahe. Talaga. So, parati akong postura. Take note. Postura <laughs> is the word. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. But parati akong postura sa school. At nadala mo na yun sa career mo, right? I guess so, yes. Oo. Oh, oh. But, you know, um, it wasn't all easy. Parang easy, pag pinapanood ka, parang dami naman concert ito, sunod-sunod, jam pack, di ba? But two years into showbiz, ang balita namin, ginusto mong mag-back out? Bakit? Ah, uh, because I did my first movie. <laughs> oh. It didn't do well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For a young kid, wala na ma-acting workshop noon. It was so heavy and dramatic. It was a, uh, parang ang partner ko si Rowell. So, tragic. So, drama siya, no? So, ang hirap umiyak. Hindi ko ilam, alam i-express yung sarili ko for that certain scene. So, did not do well at all. Um, so, ang daming criticisms. Back then, tabloids. Siyempre, yung mga reporters. So, lahat from my physical appearance to everything, my acting. And as a kid, syempre hindi ka sanay. Again, no, I was very sheltered. Iyak lang ako na iyak. Sabi ko, ayoko na. I don't think this is, I'm meant to be in the business. I cannot. Ayoko na ma. It's so kakahiya. <laughs> syempre yun ang line ko. It's so kakahiya in school. <laughs> what will they say? Oh. You know, worry ko. Mm. I was so embarrassed. Anyway, again, my mom, the strong person that she is, said, ikaw, bahala ka. Parang yung sinabi rin ni Derek Fritz. E, pwede naman, anytime, pwede ka naman mag-quit. Kaya lang, yan, sasabihin ng tao, hindi ka talaga magaling. Kasi, yan lang ang last memory niya of you. Oo. Oh, oh. So, parang, again, mahilig akong, ano ako ma-challenge eh. So, sabi ko, tama. <laughs> oh, so, oh. I, I thought that was it for me. Oh. I, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle all the criticism. Anyway, sabi ko, I will try. So, give it another shot. Eh, naging okay naman siya after. Nagkaroon ako ng isa pang movie. It did quite well. The moral of the story is, never quit, diba? Ah. Never. Kung gusto mo talaga, if this is something that you feel you uh, where you belong just don't quit and and Correct. and do better sa loob ng showbiz um gumawa na ng artista pagkatapos ang ah, nagka love team tapos na in love <clears throat> maraming concert na kailang concert ka Ay, have you you don't know Sorry, how yeah. many yeah really what wow. a lot, a lot. okay what are like your top 3 that you will never forget <clears throat> yeah, your favorite small or okay. big Yung sa Rizal Stadium. Okay. Uh, and that's kasi a lot of people, we filled it up. Kaya lang, hindi, yung first show, hindi ako nakakanta kasi umulan. Ay. 
And ano yan, we prepared for it. May helicopter shot pa yan and everything. Kasi nga siguro hindi pa tayo sanay mag-concert dati, hindi nabubungan. Inulit namin. So, na, I was able naman to do half the show. Ayan. Ah, no, okay. Let, I think a month after. So that was unforgettable. Okay, what's another one? Uh, yung susunod, Shindig. Shindig because, because single na ako noon. I was really on my own. Uh, I guess because ang ganda ng promo rin noon. Eh, with the help, of course, of ABS. It was such a big deal. And that, lahat ng gusto ko nagawa sa Shindig. Uh, I think first billboards to promote a concert was Shindig. I was, I had a magazine for Shindig, I had a TV special, lahat, lahat, lahat nagawa ko. Lahat ng na-imagine ko at gusto kong gawin, pinagbigyan naman ako ng ABS with their support. Ay, ang ganda. <laughs> and the third is the one upcoming. Yeah. So what makes a concert queen? Naputungan ka ba talaga ng corona? Hindi Kaya ka na. naging reyna <laughs> ng concert? Kaya Ate ano Lutz ba, yan. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kaya Ate Lutz ba nang galing yun? Kaya Ate Lutz yan because uh, uh, I think after my first concert, nagsunod-sunod na yon. And back then, lahat ng concerts namin sold out. Yun talagang kaka-release pa lang sold out na siya. Yes. So, nung nag-guest ako sa kanyang show, kanyang talk show, siya yung nag-label sa akin ng concert queen. And ever since then, it got stuck. Totoo. So, I have to thank Ate Ludes Oo nga. For, for that title. Kasi usong-uso title <laughs> sa atin. <laughs> so, it's an oh. honor, but uh, I don't want to really... In other words, I do concerts not because I want to be called a concert queen. I really just enjoy it. Um, enjoyed creating something different and presenting something different. Diba, lumipad na ako, nag-shower na ako sa stage, inakyat na namin yung sasakyan. Name it, ginawa ko na yata. And coming up with something new and being the first. Wow. Yeah. So that was the fun part of it. You know, right. the entrances, the clothes, the pasabog clothes. Diba, that was the fun part. Parang full circle because uh, nag-produce ka na rin. Kaya lang, itong fairy tale story ng kanyang karera, kasi parang from a rocky personal life, in the beginning, mm -hmm. in the beginning, checkered, sabi natin checkered, pero ang kanyang career, wow, fairy tale. Mm -hmm. Sort of, right? Yes, It yes. came easy. I was very blessed. Oo, oh, oh, blessed ka. Mm -hmm. So I, I was with the right people, I met the right people, I... Uh, Yon, and everything fell into place. Very blessed career, parang fairy tale, pero pang, biglang 2000, humido sa pagkanta. At ang akala, <laughs> hindi na siya kakanta ever. Dear Boss Leng, ako po si Venus. Ipinanganak po akong maganda, base pa lang sa aking pangalan. May wrinkles ka na! <laughs> Joke lang, sis! May kabordmate po ako, si Miriam, na hindi naman kaganda. Sige ah, maiwan ko muna kayo. Uy, eh, sandali Miriam. Para sa'yo, yung mga bulaklak na ito. Ha? Judgmental match. Wouldn't it be great to see our homegrown brands make waves in the global stage, similar to the diaspora? Join us on a journey that transcends boundaries and explores the endless potential of global expansion, guided by the insights and wisdom of Cheryl Ramos Quintana, founding president of Orispa and chairperson of the Philippine Franchise Association, as she shares with us her expertise on entrepreneurial journey beyond Philippine shores. Why do we need to bring these brands globally? Dito pa lang, ang dami na nating consumer, di ba? Market, malaki na sa Philippines. But this can actually be a driver nga for growth and also be a bearer of the Filipino culture that we have so much to offer to the world. Open for business with Cesar Vallejos. Sunday, 9 p.m. Aramina, may dance challenge na magpapaganda sa araw mo. Magandang araw dance challenge. Kitang-kita nga naman bakit gaganda ang araw mo. Kaya sali na sa magandang araw dance challenge sa TikTok. <laughs> Nangyari pa!
pala yun. Na? na nawala ka ng boses na. at hindi ka kumanta. Hindi namin ma-imagine yun na hindi kumakanta si Pops. Nangyari yun. Nahirapan akong kumanta. Uh, acid reflux din. Siguro because uh, I didn't really have a regular show anymore. Hindi na ako masyadong kumakanta. Alam mo yun. So, acid reflux meaning, anong nangyari sa vocal cords mo? Parati siyang gasgas. Parati oh. akong walang boses. Oh. So, uh, but I didn't mind it. Kasi nga sabi ko, oh, hindi na naman ako lumalabas masyado. But, nakakaya yung kunyari, di ba nasa party ka, tapos papakantahin ka. May banda. Ako, ninenervous na ako. Nasabihin ko, tatawagin na ako. Parati kasi nasabi, sorry pa, wala akong boses. Hindi naman sila maniwala, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, pipilitin mo, pero garal-gal, hindi mo na ma-reach yung, yung notes and whatever. And I didn't mind, <clears throat> again, I didn't mind it. Because nga sabi ko, eh, wala naman akong show. Hanggang sa I realized, oh, I, I wanna go back to singing. Uh, but it took a long time because nga, ano yan, um, in other words, kasi nga, nawalan ako ng boses, and every time I'd sing, I'm struggling, so mali na yung placement ko. So, ang nangyayari is, every time kumanta ako, after one song, malat na ako. So, anong ginawa mo? In the meantime, syempre, nagtatrabaho ka rin for your children, mm, yeah. right? So, oh. what I did was, started producing small shows, uh, in, in small lounges, uh, pag successful yun, oh, pwede pala. So, palaki na siya ng palaki. Hanggang sa nakapag-produce ako ng mga uh, big concerts. Like... Ganun pala yun. Kaya ka natutong mag-produce, mm-hmm. napilitan ka, kasi hindi kasi ka makakanta. Hindi ako makakanta. Sabi ko, kailangan oh. kumita pa rin ako, di ba? Oh, oh. So, imbes na pilitin ko yung sarili kong kumanta na I was struggling and baka pangit. Ako na mismo nagsasabi, I was having such a hard time. Yun ang finocus ko. So, I did Vina's 40th, 40th anniversary ni Vina. Uh, I also did uh, I, I I did several I I's. I love working with ah, I I. She's fun okay. to work with. I I Lani, uh, hit makers. Oh, oh. So, this November, 10 and 11, may plugging na. Oh. We're doing the 20th anniversary of Hitmakers. Ah, oh, wow. Not only here, you go abroad a lot. I go abroad, yes. Bakit ganun? Dahil sa marami talagang mga Pilipino abroad ang nangungulila at gusto pa rin lalo, nilang makarinig. Lalo na, after the pandemic, syempre, sabik, tayo nga sabik na sabik manood ng shows dito. What more? Ngayon, lalo na, I, I realize Canada, Australia, America, of course, and dami nako concert ngayon. That's good for us, de ba? Um, so it's exciting times again for mga singers and entertainers. So mo na lahat ng energy mo, pops. <laughs> I sleep a lot. Ah. I sleep a lot. I'm very disciplined. Social drinking, dati de ba? But I stopped drinking. Lalong lalo na pag alam ko may show ako. If you offer me, I just say, sorry, I have a show coming up. Yung mga I, wine, wine, ganon, yeah, kasi yeah, sa yeah, boses mo. Because it dries my throat. Uh, I study hard. I study my songs hard. I mm. learn them. Um, lalo it, na ngayon. It, oh. Because nga, now I'm so aware of my placements when I sing. I really, really try to learn every song that I sing. Still, I, I want to be able to hit my notes because nawala yung high notes ko dati. Nasa mababa lang ako. So ngayon, I'm, I'm starting to stretch, and napapansin ko, unti-unti ko na siyang uh, nare-reach again at a comfortable uh, pace, no? yung kumbaga sa mas komportable na ako. Mm. I thank Annie, my voice teacher. I have to thank her. Si Annie Quintos. Ah, so meron talagang, kailangan may coach ka, trainer. Yeah, like I, a trainer, right? I, I need someone to hear me. I need someone to correct me. Because baka in my mind, Tama ako, yung pala mali, no? Now, you keep learning. You keep training. <clears throat> you take your notes seriously, di ba? You keep educating yourself. Masasabi yung bang nagawa mo na halos lahat ng gusto mong gawin sa buhay mo? Nga pala! Ano ba ang love life? Ayun, talaga, nakalimutan ko siya. Kinalimutan mo na ba talaga ang love life mo? I mean, talaga ba? Walang hindi naman. Hindi ano? naman. Ah, kala ko nakalimutan mo na yan. Sana Ay, hindi. Bigla ko naalala. Sabi ko parang, Teka muna, bakit wala tayong pinag-usapan ito, na gano'n? Ito kasi, si oh. Pops kasi, no matter what, may mga syempre, may mga fake news na lumalabas dyan. Conservative kasi ako in the sense na pag nagka-love life ako, ang feeling ko, ito na yun. Ito na siya. You know what I mean? Eh, 
parang hindi pa ako napupunta doon, di ba? Hindi ko naman nilarash. Wala kang pit stop. Gusto mo finish line na. Yeah, yung parang feeling ko, <laughs> dahil napili ko to, baka ito na, di ba? Pag hindi napupunta doon, syempre, na sa sad ako. Hindi na kasing sad as before. Natuto na. Tumigas na rin yung heart ko in oh, that oh. sense. Pero syempre, na sa sad pa rin ako. Hanggang sa yung pinakala, sabi ko, teka muna. Bakit pa pinipilit ko yung love life, di ba? I will concentrate first on my children and my career. And then hopefully it follows. Kumbaga sa dapat ma-meet ko na lang siya. 'Di ba? Effortlessly. Dapat matisod mo lang ayan oh, nandiyan oh, na siya. Oh, bigla pala 'yon. Ikaw naman pala yung inihintay ko, 'di ba? <laughs> Parang ganon. So, oh, oh. it is not it is not my priority right now because I think I'm in, I'm very much enjoying what I do. Uh pero hindi ko rin naman kino-close yung doors ko, di ba? What about Las Vegas? Hasn't anything happened in Las Vegas? I, But I think siya nasa Las Vegas, by the way. Because <laughs> my boys are there, oh, no? Ah, oh. uh, papano? Misto lang nanay ako doon. Nag, naglilinis ako ng bahay and oh, everything. Oh. Kumusta na pala ang bahay sa Vegas? Oh, Project lang. mo yan. Small, small lang siya. But, oh, ma- pero uh, maganda. Uh, I like you. I, I got this talent from my mom. I love to fix homes, okay. so it keeps me busy. It it makes me proud. Um, tapos don I get to be with my children, with my boys. When I say children, kasi in my mind, ang baby baby panela no. Alalaki nila. Ha? Kaya nga, I keep mm-hmm. correcting myself. They're grown men. Nung busy kasi ako, nung bata sila, I wasn't really able to spend so much time with them. So talagang guilty talaga ako. So now, uh, bago sila magkaroon ng sarili nilang family, I want to make sure that I get to spend so much time with them, at least quality time Have with them. Have you caught up? Uh, you, I, I don't think you'll ever say you've caught up, no? Parang for me, it will always be a... Lost Let, opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm. at least mas conscious ako. And we enjoy each other so much. I mean, we're really like barkadas. We love to cook. Now my boys cook for me. I love it. They, oh they take care of me. I super love it. Oh, may, oh. Mga, may mga nauutusan na ako. Oh, diba? oh, dapat. So I love, I love our bonding moments when we're together. Pag nakikita nila siguro na nasa mga theme parks kami, we love doing that. So meron kang fallback life pala? In Las Vegas. <laughs> so at this point, okay, in your life, um, you produce, you continue to produce. You're exhausted producing, but you know you're very productive. What else do you need to do? What else do you want to do aside from working, doing what you love, school maybe? Um, I was such a good student. Honestly, I was so studious. When I say good student, studious ako na, and I wasn't able to really finish. So, buti na lang, parang naririnig-rinig ko, uso na yung mga online classes and everything. And maybe if given a chance, I will, I, I would want to take up classes. Para lang masabi na meron rin akong diploma. Oh, oh, why not? <laughs> and degree. And it's never too late. Oh, Nowadays oh. nga, wala nang, there's no such thing as limitations, no? You can do whatever you want, you know? And, Age doesn't matter. You can even cook now. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I will attempt to cook my adobo. Hoy, yeah. yun ang reklamo sa'yo ni Martin, sabi mo dati. Nabasa ko. Oh. May, 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 hindi, may hindi mo alam. Hindi ko alam. Nabasa ko sa tabloid one time. Sorry, Marta. Nabasa ko. Na one of the reasons daw, and I'm sure naman, it's one of those... I don't know if it's made up or he did say it. And In somebody, jest, maybe. Yeah. Oh. And kaya daw niya... Ako, uh, parang kaya daw kami where we are because hindi ko daw siya pinagluto. <laughs> Na-hurt ako doon. Sabi ko, kung alam ko lang na gusto mo pala ako magluto, di sana na, na, nag-aral ako. But anyway, oh. that got stuck in my mind. So sabi ko, luto, luto, pwede naman. So I started baking. My kids would eat everything I bake. <laughs> Totoo. Try Masarap it. naman. Well, Padalan mo ako. Siguro naman, you'd follow instructions, no? Kaya Oo. ko. So, I, I'm always like, Kuya, kuya, try it, try it. Is it good? So, yung mga anak mo naman, ang babae, Mom, it's the best. 
Yes. Totoo. So hanggang sa from baking, uh, pasta pasta, cooking cooking, and I enjoy cooking for my my family, especially my boys, because they they appreciate what I cook for them. I'm sure yung yung most of the time hindi naman ganong kasarap, but I think they know that it's such an effort for me. So alam mo yon, happy naman sila, and seeing them happy, and and that's our bonding moment makes me happy, Shandra. Wow. Parang medyo roller coaster yung life mo rin, ano? Lahat naman yata tayo, di ba? May, may mga ups and then may mga super downs. 40 so. years. How 40 is, plus 40 years, plus years. Yeah. No regrets about entering the business, the decisions you've made along the way. Um, in the business, parang ito na yun eh. Ito yung mm. binigay sa akin. Parang... I, there's no chance to regret because ito rin naman yung ginusto ko nung bata ako, di ba? This is where I saw myself and it actually happened. Mm -hmm. uh, regrets along the way. I don't want to say I've regretted. I think I've made some bad decisions, but I don't want to regret it because everything happens for a reason for me. So yung mga hindi, okay, it strengthened me. Um, I learned how to be courageous and especially independent, diba? I've learned, I've learned so much. Ah, aksyon sa lahat ng problema. Walang uurungang reklamo. Re-responde anumang sitwasyon. Kung kayo po ay may sumbong, mag-text lamang po ha sa 0915-415-1035. Mag-email din sa responde at net25.com. Pwede na kayo magpadala na inyo po mensahe sa ating Facebook page at net25tv. Walang imposible at lahat may solusyon sa mga totoong certified e-responder. Bosling, ako po si Venus. Ipinanganak po akong maganda base pa lang sa aking pangalan. May wrinkles ka na! Joke lang, sis! May ka-boardmate po ako, si Miriam, na hindi naman kaganda. Sige ah, maiwan ko muna kayo. Uy, sandali Miriam. Para sa'yo yung mga bulaklak na ito. Ha? Judgmental match. After more than 40 years in the business, full circle. Matatawag ba natin full circle? Um, I, Kasi nagpo-produce ka na rin. Actually, oh. parang, no? Ang dami ko na rin nagawa sa buhay hmm. ko. <laughs> diba? Kulang na lang maging lola ka. Matagal pa yon. Lolly na ako. Very soon. Oh, wow! I, I, I call it lolly. Lolly? You're gonna be a lolly? A lollipop. Yeah. Yes. So, very, very soon. Maybe next year. Early really? next year. Really? Yes. Sino naman ito? Kanino? Kay kuya, syempre. Sa ah, panganay ko. Sa panganay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So, uh, gusto mo girl or boy? It's a boy. It's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Anong klaseng lola ka naman magiging? Ay, nako. Uh, we don't know yet, but good luck na lang sa kanila kung ma-enjoy pa nila yung anak nila. <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited. Mm. So, You've been through so much. And here you are telling me you're going to be a grandma soon. Mm -hmm. Wow, fabulous grand, hot ma, hot lolly. Hot lolly, ayan. Very <laughs> Ay, hot title. lolly, ayan. Magandang title sa susunod mong concert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, napakaraming kanta nang dumaan sa buhay ni Pops. And literally kanta. I remember Little Star. Mm -hmm. Little Star on TV. Yan ang una kong napanood na Pops Fernandez na talagang wow. We were all mesmerized. Ah, really? So I guess it means something to you, that yes, song. Yes, yes. That was written by Ninong Tito again. I have, wait, I have to take this chance to really thank Ninong Tito and Ninang Helen. Mm -hmm. Because sila talaga yung, yung unang nag-alaga sa akin sa, sa business. No? So thank you very much. And I'm always grateful. Every time I see them, paulit-ulit ko sinasabi yun. Totoo. Because nga, syempre kung hindi dahil sa kanila, di ba? Hindi naman na ako makaka-break sa showbiz. They're really such a nice couple. Yes, mm -hmm. I wouldn't know how to anyway. So, Correct. Um, Ninong wrote it. And parang back then, when I was little, yun yung naging theme song ko. Because nga, 
di ba, little star, I was as aspiring, I had dreams, but I really didn't know where I wanted to be. So I was just a little star. Mm, okay. Hopeful, very hopeful. Oh, so bakit ka naman no, sobrang nostalgic, teary-eyed about little eh, kasi, star? Eh, kasi yun nga, di ba? Ah, because na-relate ko rin siya, because uh, I guess I didn't eat bulaga. It was, I think, my birthday. I was singing Little Star, and then my dad surprised me. So, parang till this day, pag kinakanta ko yon. Plus, Little Star for me is like, yun na nga yung beginning years ko. So, parang naiiyak pa rin ako hanggang ngayon. Totoo, how cute naman. All right, so ito naman dito. Dito kasi it was my very first song. So it was given to me again, uh, si Tito Homer yan. That's when I first met Homer Flores. And ever since then, it was like a, uh, uh, a love team ng Homer and Pops, no? Ah. So, uh, Ang dami nyo na kasi naging collab Concerts after. also, songs, concerts, arrangements, si Homer yan. And he really took care of me also, music-wise, di ba? Ah. So dito, very senti because nga first ko naman siya. O oh, ito naman, don't say goodbye. Um, don't say goodbye, Martin and Louie Ocampo. Uh, well, it's one of my biggest hits also. Uh, so, um, syempre senti kasi... It's always sad to say goodbye. Mm -mm. Kaya nga, don't. <laughs> Oo. <laughs> Kaya lang Stay na good friends. Bad. Kaya lang na oh, good. Oh. <laughs> Stay friends, no? We are friends. Oh, see? For now. <laughs> Stay friends. Okay lang yan. Kahit naman ang mga friends, away, bate. Ganun uh, but lang I yun. think, ano, I, I, I just want to be friends talaga. It's, it's better. We're happier. Always and forever. Uh, that's my duet with Martin for our very first movie. Ah. Mm -hmm. Now, magkakaroon ng... Um, newest concert, ang Concert Queen, Pops Fernandez, and it won't be abroad, di kinyo kailangan bumili ng ticket, dito yan gaganapin sa... Saan? Hindi ko pa alam. But ah, sometime, oh, wow, it's a surprise. Uh, sometime February, mga mm -hmm. first week of February. So, Dear, malapit na yun. Kaya nga, napapressure. Oh, oh. Napapressure ka na. <laughs> Pinaalala. Ibenta na natin, girl. Correct. Oh, dapat, you have to support, ha? Your I whole will team support. I has promise. to be Wala there. Wala akong pasasayawin at pakakantahin. Uh, well, hindi ako makapromise dyan, Corina. <laughs> Pinaiyak mo ako, so gagantihan kita. <laughs> Pero bago ang concert, for the celebration, not just of your career, but of your life, because you are a graduate with flying <coughs> colors, if I may say so myself. So, pasisilipin tayo ni Pops ngayon <coughs> with one of her newest songs. So, sino naman ang composer nun? Always Loved uh, is composed by uh, Jonathan Manalo, of course, Jeremy G, Sab Trisha, and I. Oh, wow! My very first contribution in a song. I'm Why so proud not? Why don't you do that more often? Eh, kasi dati, alam mo naman, uh, spoiled tayo, di ba, bibig Lang tayo ng kanta. I never really was, I, I was never confident to write anything. Parang Aha, parang. ang ibig sabihin nito, ang kantang ito ang tungkol sa buhay niya talaga. A little bit. Not buhay, but siguro ito yung mga lessons in life na natutunan ko. So, ito na siya ngayon. Parang ganun. Wow! I'm excited! Mm. At makakasilip tayo ngayon. First time Soon. kong kakantayin ng live to. Wow! Yeah, Soon so. to come in February ang kanyang concert. And siguro naman may title na. Uh, for now, it's also called Always Loved. Always the song loved. is also also Always Loved under Star Music. And they can actually listen to it and download it in all the digital uh, platforms, streaming Great. platforms. Great! Congrats, Pops. I mean, I think, I think, um, how else would you have lived your life except that way, right? Hindi ko na rin ma-imagine. Hindi ganun eh. Siguro, pag ano, director, but basta somehow showbiz related. Yes, oo. Uh, so, so, congrats to a life well lived. Thank you. And such a stellar career and oh, not about you. done yet. Nagsisimula pa lang po siya. Yeah. I mean, oh, oh. For, as, uh, for as long as siguro I'm enjoying myself in front of the camera and on stage, yeah. I'll still be here. Galing. High five tayo. High five. Ang galing. Ah, yun. Alam mo, si Cher nga, ayaw, ma, ayaw tumigil. Wa, no? Ang layo pa ng edad mo doon, girl. <laughs> Kaya nga, but still, pa yun. yan ang peg natin. Nakatangga pa siya. <laughs> no? Oo, oh, magsimula na tayo ng squats. <laughs> <laughs> ah, kapag nagka-boyfriend, tsaka na tayo mag-high-ten. Oo, tsaka na yan. High-five muna. High-five muna. <laughs>